Hi guys, it's Deanna from Furnace Frills, and I wanted to show you three wonderful minis that I've made this summer. They are all three the creation of Laura Dennison at Following the Paper Trail. The patterns are available at her Etsy store, and then every Friday night at 7 Pacific Time, she has a two-hour class on Ustream. We all get together and make the minis. It's really awesome, you guys. I do it. So, this first little mini is called the Sunburst Mini because it bursts open and each flower becomes a tag that you can put photos on. It's a really cute, easy little mini and you really ought to try it. Now, this next one is called the Heart of the Home Recipe Album. It is so cute. It was last Friday night. So it's held together with a little apron in the front. And then I put a little medallion on it, just opens up and it says um, Deanna's recipes inside. And then when you open this up, you guys, you won't believe it. It's a hanging file cabinet and it holds 14 large folders and they each have a place for at least two photos and two recipes or one really large one. I, I just love it. I put the little chickens on there and... Um, did Mod Podge on them just for some durability. And I haven't put in the recipes yet, but if I had, I could easily read them by the little um, clothespin up at the top um, that holds them up there. Absolutely ingenious. Okay, now this is my favorite. Life's a picnic, picnic basket. Oh, you guys, this is totally woven out of basil cardstock. Can you believe it? Now with mine, I ink the edges and then um, put Mod Pot on it just so it'll last forever, which I'm really excited about that. And then I just freehanded the large um, sunflower that's on the top. It's just so cute. I, I can't express how cute this thing is. And then when you open up the top, there's your mini. Now I lined mine with the um, gingham just because I like that look. Now, the first page on mine are these beautiful little uh, watermelon pieces, and they are so cute. And inside each page is a very large tag for photo or journaling. And mine, I put um, the little black-eyed Susans on each of them. And, of course, what, many, what picnic wouldn't be without ants? Every one of them has ants. And on each one of mine, I put these little pretty little embellishments, usually butterflies, to hold the pages in. It just the, the little um, tags in. Now these watermelons, they have three pages each that you can put pictures and journaling on. They are so cute. On the back of every page, there are these, another large uh, photo spot. And mine has the little pool with the um, ladybug on there. And I usually uh, decorated each one like with these flowers and um, the dry embossing. Now these are so cute. We've got spilled ice cream in the grass. So cute. And each one of these ice cream cones opens up so that you can put journaling or pictures. And I really like the dry embossing that I did on this. It really livened it up some. This is the cutest little flip-flop I found at Hobby Lobby and I just thought it went perfect with them. Then we come to the ketchup, mustard, and relish. What picnic wouldn't be there without that? Of course they gotta go on what's on the grill. And what is in that grill? Hot dogs, of course. And both hot dogs are tags in their own right and you can pull them out and they, they guys this is so cute. You pull them out and they're not little tiny either. They're good size. And then the actual grill itself is a folder, and you can put journaling and pictures inside of it. It's really cool. This next one was a beautiful little daisy that I got, uh, just a little piece of jewelry, and the um, I had an embossing folder with daisies. So I embossed it just to match. I just really liked that one. This one is a glass of lemonade, and it's complete with ice cubes and everything. The lemon pulls out, and that's another tag. This is the prettiest embellishment that I got again at Hobby Lobby. They were on sale, two for 50 cents, and I just loved them. The paper that I used on here was the Case Sera Sera. I thought it worked really well with the just the feel that I wanted for mine. 
I absolutely love this mini, guys. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Laura is the best. And the patterns are so easy to follow. It really makes it easy. I also wanted to say thank you to Carol and Barry at scrap it dab it do You guys got to check them out. They got the best store. And they'll punch out the ants for you. Because that, that punch isn't available anymore. So come join us. Watch the recordings. Get the patterns. It's lots of fun.